It's a romantic icon of the Old West, the stagecoach. In frontier days, it carried countless travelers through the wilderness. But the stagecoach is no relic of the past. At the Hanson Wheel and Wagon Shop outside Mitchell, South Dakota, the stage and all kinds of horse-drawn vehicles are being restored and recreated. Hanson Wheel and Wagon Shop is all about being authentic. Doug Hanson grew up on the ranch where his shop stands today and where his fascination with all things horse-drawn began. It started out as a, as a hobby, you know, growing up around horses. Doug's mom was a saddle maker, dad was a woodworker and a blacksmith, and when granddad taught Hanson to drive a team, he became intrigued with antique transportation. Pretty soon, you know, I was getting asked to make, uh, you know, restore the neighbor's buggy or, or repair a wheel for somebody. The hobby became a business back in 1978 that today employs a dozen craftsmen building brand new stagecoaches and wagons or restoring treasures from the past. So this stagecoach took the first visitors into Yosemite Park. It, it uh, um, Teddy Roosevelt rode on it on this coach in the park. So this, this is a restored wagon. This as you can see under here, there's the name of the original maker of the wagon, Newton. Um, behind the barrel, you can see some of the lettering there. <clears throat> this is a simple little runabout buggy. This was called a piano box buggy or a runabout. This is my own personal uh, stagecoach and I've driven this on numerous trail rides. Uh, drove it across the, uh, the Triple U Ranch out where Dances with Wolves was filmed. Dances with Wolves is just one of a number of films Doug's worked on. Quentin Tarantino bought a Hanson stagecoach for his movie, The Hateful Eight, and Wells Fargo has bought some 20 stagecoaches over the years. Yeah, the most challenging uh, horse-drawn vehicle that we would work on is a stagecoach. It's the most complex. A stagecoach uses a suspension of leather and wood known as a thorough brace that acts like a big rocking chair as the vehicle rolled down the rough trails of the west, making life easier for everyone on the trip. The coach uh, rides on leather, and that takes the shock obviously off the body, but also takes the shock off the horses as we were talking about earlier. These ingenious vehicles are also quite beautiful. So when this is in the museum and people are, are viewing it, they're going to get to see, you know, the, the, the hickory wood that's used in the wheels, the yellow poplar that's used on the body panels, the cowhide that's used in the boots, and, and uh, when the seats are installed, you know, the, the nice uh, leather um, trimming in it. And then this will be ornamented in, uh, 24 karat gold leaf with Yosemite National Park and, you know, Mariposa big trees and various lettering that would have been used uh, historically to um, give the visitors of the park kind of a, you know, build up some excitement to, to take the coach into the park. As impressive as it is, the Hanson Wheel and Wagon Shop does more than restore and recreate the horse-drawn vehicles of the 1800s. This place is really more like an archaeological dig where they're rediscovering the secrets of how these things were made. To me, it's very similar to archaeology because <clears throat> you, we get an old vehicle and it's covered in barn dust and it's covered in overpainting, so maybe it was painted five times with a broom. Um, and underneath that paint is, uh, in that dirt and grime, are bits and pieces of historical information. The learning never ends. Every part must be forged from steel, cut from leather, or crafted by wood and it all takes time. Start to finish, if you calculate all the time out, it takes just about a day and a half to make one wheel. Stagecoaches can cost $100,000, but there's no shortage of customers from all over the world wanting to own this icon of the American West, like the Japanese executives who came to buy a stagecoach for their theme park. And I had an old uh, Winchester leaning up in the corner that we used for prop shots. It was an old uh, 73 Winchester. Man, they picked that gun up and John Wayne, you know, and uh, they're just, and these were, these were executives. These were, you know, wearing the, the fancy uh, suits, you know, and. Hanson also offers less expensive, but equally authentic pieces of the Old West in his retail shop. This is like a hardware store from the 1800s. There's decorative wheels, hitching gear for wagons, historically accurate cookware, and all kinds of other supplies. All the way down to the dinner triangle. But anyone wanting a stagecoach will have to be patient. Hanson has a year's worth of backlogged orders. 